Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com and today we got something a little bit different for you. We're going to be talking about the Mac. Now we've talked about having dark mode and things of that nature, uh, Eclipse 4 on the iOS device. Today we're going to be talking about dark mode for the Mac. Now there's a couple different tools we can use here. We can use Flux which I just did a, uh, not a review, but a install video on, showing you how to add that to a jailbroken or non-jailbroken device. Didn't matter. Any device, really, running no iOS 10, or 9 or 8, actually. But anyway, if you've been using Flux, then you know a little bit about how it changes depending on the time of day. You can set it to, to, to do more of that kind of stuff based on your total preference of course now we have the same thing available for mac i touched on it just a little bit in the other video but i didn't really show you exactly how it looked or anything like that which i'm going to do in this one but there's even a better tool guys that we can use it's called dark i'm sorry dr dark this is something like tweaks for the Mac. Uh, they're available. If you want to add a little bit of something extra to your Mac, that is available, guys. I just wanted to make you, you can get on GitHub, GitHub and find anything you want, anything imaginable. And if there's an idea you have, you can post that on GitHub. And if they think it's a good idea, they'll even make the tweak for you. So if you come up here, you can see... I, I've been messing around with SMC fans and all that stuff too, but we're looking at Flux. Now, you can see here, there's there's many different options in here, but I'm going to pull up the preference pane and just mess around with it a little bit and just get you to see how the display changes based on where it's at, the time of day. You see this little thing here, I move. When I move this up here, you can change the time of sunset how you want it to look at sunset or you can just choose classic flux or working lake recommended colors right on down the line now flux is pretty easy to install just go to that link in the description click pretty much done deal dr dark requires a little bit more finesse now it's not hard to do but you still need to know what it is you're doing you need to come in here first of all and download my symbol now easy there's another one called easy don't get them confused and if you have that one installed you need to remove it okay because we're working on sierra and i think this works with 10.11 and above so i know sierra is 12. so once you get the my symbol installed You'll have a little icon that looks something like this one right here. You'll click on that and it'll open up. You'll go in here and you'll go to manage. And when you're in, not manage, I'm sorry, but where are you? You'll go into discover. And once you're in discover, then you can find different tweaks and things to install. And you find the one you want and we want dark dr dark so what we'll do is we'll double click on dr dark and you see i've already installed it but you'll just double click and it'll bring it over here and you'll need to make sure that you have the little green light on see the the ones here that aren't enabled that i have the red dots beside of if i click the little red dot it goes to yellow then it goes to green that means that's working now this is custom notifications which is something that go that's dealing with custom your notification center over here okay uh, that's not we're not even talking about that but very easy to install you just double click on it it'll work uh, I'm trying to get type status worked out for the Mac and when I do I'm going to do a video on it but anyway guys you'll really like this let me open up some of the settings here just to show you around the inside of what this thing looks like guys so now i'm going to bring in here and show you what it looks like inside of notifications and some preference pane stuff like that or the settings pane i should say 
as you can see here I've already got uh, the notifications pane pulled up but uh, the dark mode it just turns different uh, things dark of course I guess hence the name and you just sort of have to go through and see which ones are and which ones aren't as you can see here and you will notice here on the left side too that it makes some of them a little bit hard to read but you know you can go in there and uh, turn those make those make that writing different colors by going into the generals uh, setting here uh, and just fiddle around and get it the way you want it also you can turn your dock your dock and your status bar at the top dark by just toggling that on and off just in case you didn't know that anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up if you did share it with all your Facebook, Twitter, social media. Subscribe before you leave. Very important. And keep coming back.